Good afternoon. Let's see how much trouble we can get in today. Definitely seems to be a filament over your eyes. this for a while yes mm -hmm. oh yeah that's gonna be a problem I'm not sure what we're gonna do but we're definitely gonna have to probe it now this looks dangerous I know it looks sharp but I promise I promise it only hurts a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I almost forgot to give you the anesthesia first. <laughs> Isn't that just like me? Well, you know, I can hear it now, Dr. Andrew Michaels, some astrobiologist you are. I thought you were here to help people, not give them a nervous breakdown performing surgery without anesthesia <laughs> even a local come on doctor now don't worry this won't hurt a bit yeah it's a big one but uh, I'm only sticking it like in the one eye at a time so you can still see what's coming at you so it, it looks like a big beetle but it's not don't worry it won't hurt just a little bit hold still right in there <gasps> Ooh. Woes a little bit in there. You want both eyes? Okay. You don't want to see it coming? Okay. I understand. So we'll put some in this eye. Oh. Hopefully that'll... Sure, I can put some right here. This will help you sleep.
Can you feel that? Let me try something here. I'm not sure how it'll work, but just let me. Yeah, you can definitely see the eyeball flexing in and out. Almost like a drum. It's so tight. You know, if you like that, if it's relaxing, I could do some more of that for you. Would you like that? Okay. Then I'll do it. Because if we can massage the anesthesia in, maybe we can help your eyes relax more. That's right. So just hold still. Sure. Let's try something here. That didn't hurt at all, did it? You see how deep we went? Let's do it on the other side. Ready? definitely some pressure issues with your eyes. If you'd like, I can check some more. See how pressure sensitive they are. Yes. Oh, yes. Wouldn't it be funny if I went, like, back into my own eye? And I don't have any anesthesia in my eyes. Wouldn't that be hilarious? You know, like, see how close you can get to your eye with... Ooh, ow. That hurt. It's not funny, is it? It's not funny when it's... Call me Evil Knievel, you know? <laughs> Ooh. Doing my own stunts. until I'm sure where we're at. Um, yeah, I can wet the area down if you think it's too dry. Do you? Okay. No problem. No, no, no. No, no, no. I totally concur. I know I'm the 
doctor and you're the patient, but uh, if you think you need some solution in your eye to help it calm down, I can do that. Yes, I can. Ready? and clean all the way around. That's what we want. Nice and clean. Yep. Feel better? Sometimes you just need a little bit of moisture around the eyes and that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Just a wee little drop here or there, you know? Less tension. Yeah. Still a little tight. Do you notice that? I do that. If I pull on the edges, it's just a wee bit. Tight. I know, I was, um, I was just watching an old movie myself, and I, you know, I'm not just a connoisseur of films, you know. I had some cotton here. Hang on a second. Nope. I spilled something. That's okay. Just a little dab of cotton in there. I know, we just, we just moistened the area. And now we're taking a very dry, obviously dry piece of cotton and dabbing off extra excess moisture from your tear ducts. Isn't that funny how these things work? Yeah, I know. It's quite stimulating that the way we do things, it's always backwards, isn't it? Yeah, I know. But you, you're precious. You're precious and you deserve some personal attention. Yes, you do. Because astrobiology is my field of study and I like to help those who a little bit of personal attention. That's right. And you're it today. Do you feel special? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> no, I wasn't watching Dirty Harry. No, you're going way back in the way back machine. No, something a little newer. Summer film. It was a popcorn film. Uh, I think you might have seen it. You might have. Summer of 78. Uh, let's see. Uh, have you ever heard of Corvette Summer? Corvette Summer. That's right. Mark Hamill's little foray into summer teeny bopper popcorn movies. Oh, there's a lot of this is a felt tip pointer. See? It won't hurt you. See? Won't hurt. A very good friend of mine, Joni. Um, she goes by the code name Whispers Latino. Sent this to me. Latina. I don't speak Spanish. And I get in trouble every time. Whispers Latina with an A. Yes. Whispers Latina. And she is a wonderful, sweet lady. And I was thinking about her tonight. Hear that? See, it's getting felt. We can pick up all of the dust. All of the... 
you're not used to Earth's pollen, and Earth goes through this season of growth with um, the plant life, and you need to understand that the pollen season this year is horrible. So, relief from pollen is what we're doing today. I just come up with that about uh, say 15 minutes into your procedure, but don't worry, don't worry, it doesn't make a difference. I'm still a professional. That's right. We're gonna get all that dust out. the girl's name it was in Corvette Summer and it really she was one of my favorite uh, actresses she was in Ghostbusters she was in <sighs> Pretty in Pink she was in Ghostbusters 2 um, she was in those southern women women around that ran a business but never seemed to have any customers designing women yeah uh, yeah she's a great Oh, I just loved her to death. Such a sweet little lady. Sweet lady, you drive me crazy. That's right. I can't remember her name. And we're not quitting until I get it. Because I'm going to get every piece of dust and pollen out of your eyes. on the tip of my tongue. John Cryer was in Pretty in Pink and so was Molly Ringwald and I think Matthew McCartney I think this was his name. He's a good actor. And then that uh, not James Spader but that was it James Spader was in it? Yeah James Spader. I don't know. He was the bad guy. Because and John Cryer kicked his ass, you know, beat the hell out of him. He had those white crocodile shoes everybody had to have. Oh, I hated those shoes. I wore black high top Reeboks in high school or white high top Nikes. That was my weapon of choice in 1980s high school. So I like Reeboks. Yeah, Reeboks were cool. I don't own Reeboks now. That's the weird part. I just, uh, th and I can afford them. I couldn't afford them back then. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, what is her name? Was she in the Ghostbusters remake with Melissa McCarthy? Oh. Don't you just hate it when you have those brain moments when you forget a name? And I can remember every detail of Corvette Summer. Danny Bonaducci. Danny Bonaducci. Breaking Bonaducci was a complete doofus in Corvette Summer. Most people don't remember that. He was the guy who took the car for a spin. He was the bad boy. Yeah, man, I'm gonna take the car for a spin. Look out, women. Look out, ladies. Danny Bonaducci's on the prowl, baby. So, he took the car for like a spin. And they told him to go inside a McDonald's or something, a burger joint, and get some Cokes. And he went in and they stole the car from him. Because the coach was... I'm gonna... This is a spoiler. I, I know some of you may have not seen Corvette Summer in the last 48 years. 40 years since it was made. Um, but I'm... Spoiler alert. The coach was in on it. He used the car to... Supp that was a summer supplemental contract was to sell the teachers will get that joke teachers and administrators will get that joke yeah he'd have the kids build a, a souped up car and then it would get stolen down on the streets of Van Nuys Van Nuys, Van Nuys California yeah 
broad daylight, you know, they're out in the open on the street, steal the car. Because he had a key, you know, he had an extra key made, so. And, uh, Ben Newis? I don't know how you say that. Yeah, the coach was in on it. But if Mark Hamill didn't go along with it, you know, like play the game and be a high roller in Vegas with no morals, then the gangsters were going to handle it their own way. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So he pretended he was in on the gang's movements and helping them chop cars. Played along, got some cash, and he went and got his woman. What was her name? Oh man, her name was right there. And I can't remember her name. She's like, Oh, Mr. Sinatra, I'm so glad you're in town. I didn't know. And then he took her shopping. You know, he's a big high roller in Vegas with the aviator. See, Mark Hamill was cool before Tom Cruise came along and ruined everything with Top Gun. I'm joking. Mark Hamill was still pretty cool. What was her name? Oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember her name. I am so screwed. What was her name? B no, it wasn't BB, it was Pretty and Pink, sorry. Molly Ringwald. John Cryer, James Spader, and a host of other cool teens. What was her name? Not Jenny. Oh, how many out there have her name already and are sitting there laughing? Because I can't remember. And there's no cuts in this. No. I don't believe in cuts. I like to be in the moment. Time is very precious to me. Your time and mine. And I want to give you some fun while I try to remember a name. I like the sound. looking at her page I was looking at Corvette Summer I was looking at her biography the page is right there in front of my eyes now here's the funny part I can see her Wikipedia page I can see her list of achievements and movie roles and I can't see her name my mind has chosen to blur it out I have to find her name. I have to go back into my mind palace. If I was Sherlock Holmes, I'd be dead already. Moriarty would have killed me, threw me off the building, and ate John Watson's liver for supper. sounds, but yours are the most incredible mouth sounds. That's just a taste, baby. I, why is the name Dabney Coleman keep coming up? That was 9 to 5. What was her name? Dolly Parton. Jane Fox.
not Phoebe. Phoebe Case was in uh, Fast Times at Richmond High, I think. I'm getting there. Oh, what was her name? Dolores? Dolores. Jenny? No, not Jenny. Not Amy. are clean they've been clean for five minutes I'm I'm losing it here I ain't gonna make it um oh god I ain't gonna make it what was her name mm. I loved her voice too I liked her better in Ghostbusters 1 than 2 I didn't like how crazy she her and Egon got all whacked out in the second one and then that whole thing with Bill Murray and Egon didn't get along never made another Ghostbusters again. The tension in your eyes a lot better. Not Judy. Not Judy. Not. She was in Designing Women. are never going to have any respect for Dr. Andrew Michaels again. He's a complete loser. He can't remember. I looked it up. I read. I watched scenes from the movie. I love that movie. I remember Danny Bonaducci was in it. I, I really like Danny Bonaducci. You know, he's kind of, he's kind of misunderstood. Not Kim Cattrall. Kim Cattrall. Oh, I love Kim she was in one of my favorite movies, um, Big Trouble in the China with Kurt Russell. You know, I always like Kurt Russell. Dennis Dunn was in that movie. Didn't do much after that. He was in Prince of Darkness. There's a cut in the film, and I didn't cheat and go look and I can't remember her name I really let you down this is supposed to be like an easy procedure and I I blew it oh what's her name and I know everybody's remembering out there and it's that's the part that hurts oh what was it well, let's check your eye now with a little light There we go. I think you'll feel better now. You can see so much clearly. And I still can't remember her name. Demi Moore? No. Well, that's
that's it. I blew it. I'm the worst there is. Oh, you're fine. Your eyes are fine. You're, you're going to be okay. There's no pollen left in your eyes. Yeah. Oh. Don't you see what I'm going through here? Y your eyes are fine. I, I know you're concerned with your eyes. I understand. I understand the Hippocratic Oath applies even to astrobiologists like myself. But uh, I, I just, uh, it's not Phoebe. It's... Uh, no, you no, you don't need a prescription eye drop. No, you're fine. Just yeah, just don't go out. You know, if it's windy, gusty, dusty, be careful walking in the park. You know, kind of shield your eyes from the wind. You'll be all right. Mhm. Mm and really enjoy your stay on the planet Earth. I really hope you're having a good time. Have you been to Disney World yet? Mm. Okay. And uh, yeah, I like it. It's all about the movies. Well, if you get a chance to see Corvette Summer with Mark Hamill and that other lady in it, that's really a good actress. She makes the movie. She kind of steals the movie from him. You know, he's just a, like an action figure, you know. He can't fight, but, you know, he can drive a car, you know. But uh, she's, she's the real star of the movie. Hmm. Yeah. That's what you get for a dollar. You know? Oh, what was her name? Yeah. Annie Potts. Her name is Annie Potts. And the reason I wanted to say the name Annie Potts is I thought it was a cool ASMR name. Annie. Annie Potts. I like Annie Potts. Very nice lady. Wonderful actress. I I think I like her in every movie she did, just about. And I used to watch Designing Women once in a while just to see her, because she was really, really cute. I married a little tiny girl like Annie Potts, little brunette. That would, you know, you know it's like, okay. Annie Potts. Great actress. So, there's just something to be said about a woman who isn't afraid to stand up to a man. It's kind of a turn on. I don't know. I like it. <laughs> she was tiny, too. But I like Annie Potts. So, all that's being said, if you're an Annie Potts fan, please click on the like and leave a comment for the poor old brainless doctor who just cleaned your eyes out but can't remember a single name and I will greatly appreciate it and remember everyone Wikipedia is your friend so well anyway my name is Dr. Andrew Michaels and I was so glad to help you today I hope you feel better and until I see you again please have a most blessed day alright okay alright bye bye We'll see you soon.